Hello my friends, today we're gonna make a really fat melodic bass house drop like stamped records in FL Studio. If we wanna make a really powerful bass house drop, we're gonna have to make a very punchy drum beat. If we nail the drums and effects, it'll be very easy to make the bass and lead sound good on top. So let's start with a punchy kick. Then a quite short and snappy clap. Some distorted rides. And a distorted hi-hat to keep the rhythm going. Then we're gonna add a percussion tom to add some groove, which is really important in a stamped record style drop. Now that we have a foundation for the drums, we're gonna add a few effects to make it a bit more interesting. Now let's hear the full drum pattern. Alright guys, now that we're done with the drums, we're gonna start to build the rest of the drop on top. Okay, so I have a really cool drop idea in mind, and the drop will actually consist of two parts. In the first part, I'm gonna add a really hard wobble bass stab and make a bouncy bass line. And in the second part, I'm gonna add some chords and stuff and turn it into a kind of blue air style drop. So let's start by making that stab bass part. I started by loading this serum bass stab preset from my sample pack. And I made a bouncy bass line on top. We're also gonna add a quite heavy sidechain to make the drop sound more groovy. I use this sidechain shape in Kickstart, but I drag the intensity of the sidechain down to 63% to make the bass a bit clearer in the mix. Now we're gonna add some more bass stab layers to make it fatter. The last layer we're gonna add will be a sub bass layer. I added all the bass layers to a mixer track and made this volume automation for the bass. This shape will make the bass a bit more bouncy, so I placed this automation shape every time a note hits in the bass line. Then I added a reverb on the bass and controlled it with a reverb automation. I think the bass and drum sound cool together, but we're gonna have to make the bass a lot more powerful if we want the drop to work. So we're gonna add some mixing effects and try to push the bass to its limits. Let's start by mixing the mid bass layers. We're gonna begin with an EQ to make the bass a bit cleaner. Then we're gonna add compression with OTT to really push the bass. Then another EQ to remove the ugly frequencies that were created by the OTT. Then a sound goodizer to add more power. Some distortion and compression with Camel Crusher. And a final EQ to make the bass a bit more crisp and clean. This my friends is what the bass sounded like before. And this is after we did the mixing. Now we're just quickly gonna beef up the sub bass layer. We're gonna take it from this. To this. We're gonna do this by adding distortion with Fruity Fastest, OTT, a sound goodizer, and an EQ removing all of the high end. This is what the full bass sounded like before the mixing. And this is after the mixing. And this is what we have so far guys. Now that we've made the first part, we can begin filling in the second part with some melodic elements. We're gonna begin by making some mysterious chords with a distorted saw layer. I also added a second chord layer to fill out the chords. After that we're gonna add some bass layers on top of the chords, I added these three mid bass layers. And lastly I'm gonna add the same sub bass layer that we used in the first part of the drop. We're gonna use the same sidechain shape as the bass stabs on the rest of the elements in the drop, but we're gonna keep the intensity of the sidechain on 100% to make the drop more groovy. We're also gonna wanna mix the chords and bass to make the drop more powerful. We want to squeeze as much power out of them as we can, while not sounding over compressed and ugly. We'll begin by mixing the chord layers, and we're gonna start by adding a lot of compression with OTT, then an EQ, then compression and distortion with Camel Crusher, another EQ, more distortion with Fruity Fastest, then another EQ really cleaning up the highs and mids, a sound goodizer for more power, then a final EQ, and lastly a fruity stereo shaper to make the chords really wide in the mix. This is the chords without the mixing. And this is with the mixing effects. Now we're gonna mix these mid bass layers. 
We want to make them more powerful, but our main goal when mixing the bass is to make it less harsh and more pleasant to listen to. We'll begin by removing a lot of the high frequencies. Then we'll add compression with OTT, then some sound goodizer, and three more EQs to clean up the bass some more. Lastly I added some distortion and compression with Camel Crusher. This is what the bass sounded like before. And this is after we did the mixing. And this is what we have so far guys. Now we're gonna make a nice lead on top. I added this Blue Air Style Serum preset and I made this lead melody. Then I added another one of that same lead preset with about 20% lower volume and I made this harmony melody. Guys, since we made the chords and bass quite powerful, we're gonna have to add a lot of power to this lead as well if we want it to be heard in the mix. So we're gonna add a lot of distortion and effects to achieve that. We're gonna begin with OTT for compression, then an EQ, and a lot of distortion using Camel Crusher, another EQ, then some saturation with Fruity Blood Overdrive which makes the lead a bit brighter, another EQ, Sound Goodizer, and two final EQs to clean up the lead a bit more. This is the lead without the mixing. And this is with the mixing. Now this is what the chords, bass, and lead sound like together. And this my friends is what we have so far. It sounds a bit empty, so we're gonna add some effects on top. I started by adding a drop clap and a ride. And then I added this vocal chop sample on top for some ambience. Nice. Now guys and gals, before I show you the final result, I would truly appreciate it if you checked out my EDM sample pack. Link is in the description. If you get the pack, you'll get 6 FLPs, 280 samples, and 150 serum presets. All made for future house, bass house, slap house, and deep house. Here's a sneak peek of two of the FLPs from the pack.